Wow! The first place that I would like to come is the Jing Jai Market. The Jing Jai Market is an open air market. Under the big trees, you can find lots of food, lots of local products, so many things here. If you are a shopping lover, this place is a must. But please remember, this is a morning market and open only on weekend, only Saturday and Sunday. Oh. Rustic Market at the Jing Jai Market Complex, running from 7.30 to 1.00 p.m. Draws local and long-term visitors to stock up on farm fresh produce. The family-friendly market also has plenty of homemade goods and prepared eats and sweets. Trust me, if you're gonna come to the Jing Jai Market, don't have any breakfast first. You can come here and find so many good food, like this. Wow. After visiting the Jing Jai Market and had a wonderful breakfast, now it's time to check into our hotel. Tonight we are sleeping at the Atel Niman Hotel. First we have to check in. Swadikab. The ID card or passport, right? This hotel has been awarded the amazing Thailand Safety, Health and Administration SHA certificate. So you can be sure that this place is safe and clean. This hotel has been awarded the Amazing Thailand Safety and Health Administration Char Certificate. Certification aimed at elevating the country tourism industry standard and developing confidence among international and domestic tourists. Bo Sang Umbrella Village is popular for umbrella making. This village in Tambon Bo Sang, Amper San Kampang is 9 kilometers from the city center of Chiang Mai. Visitors can experience an umbrella making demonstration from the making of the Sa paper made from mulberry tree bark, constructor to handmade painting and intricately beautiful pattern. Materials are made from silk, cotton, and Sa paper. After enjoying nature, now I would like to recommend you another place called Bo Sang Umbrella Making Center. Here you can find some good local and unique souvenir. And also, you can make your own umbrella. Let's see how they are made. This is the umbrella frame making station here. Yeah. Okay, first we're gonna use the white color to draw the butterfly on my own umbrella. Let's see. Hey! Wow! Look at my artwork. Nice, huh? Thanks to my teacher. Whoa. Whoa, look at that one. Whoa. Before entering the department store, we must limit the number of customers entering at once. One meter distancing. Must measure body temperature before entering. Must wear a face mask all the time. Must walk on the doormat and wash your hand with the alcohol sanitizing gel. Okay. Whoa! This one is interesting. 
Lee Clean. What is it? It's a UVC sterilizer for shopping bags. Oh, okay. Let's try it. You put the shopping bag in this, and then, okay, and then press on. And we wait for one minute. Okay, done. Then we use the gel. Okay. Nice and clean. Before entering the food park, we also have to do the social distancing for one meters. When we buy the cash card, coupon card, they will put in the plastic bag for us. Don't have to touch the money. Um, number two, for check-in and registration, we already did the, the QR code. Click up, write your name. Click up. Yeah. Wash your hand often. Safety first. Okay, I'm gonna have Pad Thai for tonight. We have the issue between me and the chef. Okay, use the card. Okay, measure to ensure safety for all visitors. But now, let me enjoy Pad Thai. Don't forget to spare some time to do the Thai spa. Sadi Khab. Take a stroll in the new normal style Thai pair Sunday walking street. Very charming, chic, and bustling with people as always. Here we are. Now we are inside the Thai pair Sunday walking street. There are so many things here, so we're gonna check it out. If you are in Chiang Mai on Sunday, this is another place that you should come. You can see some handcraft, some food, um, some local stuff. Yeah, you have to come. Uh, Thai style watermelon smoothies. Oh, temple. We also have the Thai traditional music by the Elder People Club. Whoa. You can enjoy the music during shopping in this market. Nice, huh? Pair Sunday walking street is approximately 1.2 kilometers long. You can enjoy some local street food, local products to shopping and so many stuff here. Middle of the walking street, there are also a temple called Tan Tao Temple, very nice Buddha here, you can visit. Actually, 
along the Tha Pa Walking Street, there are so many temples you can visit at night too, and it's it's different during the daytime. If you are in Chiang Mai on Sunday, this place is a place you have to visit. Trust me. I still miss you, Chiang Mai, but now I have to go back to work. However, I'm sure that I will have a chance to get back here soon. But for now, goodbye. Chiang Mai, I miss you.